Hello, I'm Chuck Butall, Director of Education with the Restoration Technical Institute, and it's time for another When It Comes Down To It. This time we're drilling down on drywall. One of the biggest mistakes that people make out in the field is assuming that all drywall is the same and that all you have to do is set up a drywall on one meter on one scale. And that's not it. This particular meter from Lignan Mat actually has multiple scales for multiple pieces of drywall, something you won't find out there in the field very often with your average moisture meters and you'll never find it on your inexpensive ones. The most important thing to remember is anytime we're using a scanning or a pin meter, in scan mode we're measuring density. In pin mode we're measuring conductivity. The biggest difference is the conductivity overall on these three pieces of drywall are going to be pretty similar, but their densities are going to be very different between featherweight drywall and old style plasterboard. And then of course we've got our moisture resistant board in here as well. The difference is, is that when you change from fire rock to general purpose to ultra lightweight, you're changing the density. Those densities are going to have to be utilized in your moisture measurement system when you are going to either A, program them into the meter, or B, you're going to have to do some field translation to get exact readings on your moisture measurements. Biggest issue out there is fire rock and anything that's denser than normal GP will give you a higher reading on your scanning meter. That actually happened one time and someone removed two million dollars worth of materials from a building and then had to go ahead and replace it. So it was two million dollars loss on the project because they were using a drywall scale but unfortunately they were using it on fire rock and since fire rock is denser it read elevated, they thought elevated meant wet, so they tore it all out. Then they had to replace it all on top of it. So a complete removal and a complete replacement was unnecessary simply because the technician did not have the scale properly knowing that drywall is not the same amongst different types of drywall. You have to have the exact right readings either on the scales or you're going to have to adjust in the field. Remember, different densities means different readings on that same meter. So just because one piece of drywall reads a little bit higher than the other one doesn't mean it's wet. It could be different density. As always, thank you for learning with RTILearning.com.